Namaste. Good morning to you. It's lovely to connect with you today. My name is Leanne Peters. I'm from templeofbalance.com.au, Temple of Balance on Facebook and Temple of Balance on YouTube. And I'm here to share some guidance for Wednesday and Thursday. Wednesday and Thursday. If it's not Wednesday for you yet, think of this as guidance in advance. And uh, you can look back on my Monday's video for guidance for Tuesday, if it's still Tuesday for you. Good morning, Stephanie and Becky. Hi, Tammy and Miriam. Tom's here again and Jewel. Hi, Elaine and Sharon. Hi, Natasha and Lee. I trust that everyone's doing well. Um, so if you're new, welcome. What I'm going to be doing is pulling um, one card from my Speed of Light Oracle cards. One card for Wednesday, one card for Thursday and one card for the theme for Wednesday and Thursday. Um, I'm not doing personal requests for guidance here today. This is general guidance for everyone. So I trust something shared will be helpful and supportive for you today. Um, just take on board what feels right for you and let the rest go. You will know if it's guidance for you because it will make sense to you. Um, it will be somehow relevant to how you feel or what's going on in your life at this time. So you can trust that. So uh, let's get straight into it. I think that's all I really need to say. Um, so I'm now looking for the best card for Wednesday the 11th of October. An extra special welcome too to our Temple of Balance patrons, my Pillar of Light family and all of those of you who support my work through my website. Thank you for your support. So Wednesday the 11th of October, the best card I trust will find its way to the top and I trust it will help the majority of us for Wednesday. So we're going to go with this card for Wednesday the 11th of October, which is here. Oh, we've got card 19, Integration. This card hasn't come up for a little while. And the key words say settling, grounding, nature and calm. It talks about the energy settling and calming down um, throughout Wednesday, which could be a really nice, um, much needed break or rest or um, breath of fresh air that sweeps into our life on Wednesday, especially if we've been quite busy and have been um, trying to keep overwhelm at bay, uh, we might find Wednesday quite settling. So let's take some deep breaths and settle into our body and settle into the moment and allow all the new energy and all the shifts that we've been experiencing in the last few weeks and months, let's allow that energy to settle now in our body and in our life. This is where the real change takes place. So we might be feeling change lately, we might have been um, changing things in our life, we might have, might have felt change in the air but I feel like there's something about Wednesday that um, is about it becoming real it becoming a reality in our life and in our body the change that we've been feeling or sensing or um, preparing for so there's a sense of reality that's coming in for that um, and yesterday in my healing video um, towards the end when I talked about allowing that energy to come into our body so we can work with it practically so we can use what we feel um, and make it a practical uh, um, support that we can use in our life that's similar to what this card's about too so letting that energy settle so we can practically use it in our life so if you feel um, in some things that you do, like say if you, when you connect with my videos, you might feel a sense of calm or a sense of support. Um, it's important to work then on how can you carry that feeling with you back into your everyday life. So it's not something you leave behind here and um, when, when we finish this streaming or when you leave a uh, gathering or what, whatever it might be that you're feeling a certain way, that you don't leave that feeling behind. That you really work on integrating that energy now and how you can carry that support over, how you can carry that sense of calm over into your life working with your breathing, working with the power of your mind can be really great ways to help yourself too. So that's the energy for Wednesday. 
integration, calming and a sense of balance also that's coming in, but in a real practical reality kind of way. So where we feel it in our physical reality. So I trust that makes sense for you for Wednesday. So now I'm going to look for the best card for Thursday, the 12th of October. So I trust 100% that the best card will find its way to the top. I'm really confident in the way that I pull my cards, which makes for a confident reading. So whatever way you choose to select your cards make sure you do it in a way that you stick with and that you're really 100% confident in. So I've been pulling cards this way for a long time <laughs> since I was in my teens um, so I just continue doing that. It doesn't matter how you pick your cards as long as you're confident in the way you do it. So I shuffle and hold the intention that I'm looking for the best card for Thursday the 12th of October and then I stop when I feel I need to and I split the deck into two. You don't have to do that, it's just the way I do it that works for me. So the best card for Thursday the 12th of October is this card. Oh, we go from calm to intense with the Tree Maiden. Card 42. The key words say ending, surrender, growth and illumination. She brings a potency about for Thursday. So just let's enjoy the calm of Wednesday because we might find Thursday bring in, begins to pick up in intensity and potency. I'm very um, eager to see the theme card for Wednesday and Thursday. That'll give us a bit of a better idea of how intense this will be. But there's an intense, potent energy coming in for Thursday with this card. So it suggests that things may be amplified, magnified, or seem louder or larger or, or um, more dramatic than what they probably really are. The reason that it's so loud for some of us on Thursday, whatever this thing is that's quite loud and is really getting our attention, is so that we can look at what needs to change in our life and what needs to change within ourselves, so that we can let that go and allow ourselves to grow. So there's a feeling here that um, whatever it is that's going to be potent or loud potentially for us on Thursday is highlighting our own limitations and our own things, our own fear, our own insecurities that might be holding us back at this time for our own growth and expansion as a soul and a being. So be aware that things may seem louder um, and deal with them as best as you can but also pay attention to these things because they might be trying to get your attention so that you'll react or respond in a different way and so that you'll probably look at what needs shifting in this particular area of your life that is loud. So you might find this comes out of the blue because, or as a bit of a surprise, um, mainly because the Wednesday card is so calm and so settling and then we go from that calm settling Wednesday into a quite a potent loud uh, Thursday. So it makes me feel that this might come in as a bit of a surprise, a bit of a, a uh, surprise potent energy that sweeps in. So that's the guidance for Thursday. Let's have a look and find what the theme card is and that will help us see a little bit more clearer as to the direction that we're going for Wednesday and Thursday because we've got a bit of a swing here already, a bit of a, a polarity going on. So I'm very interested to see what this theme card is. So the theme card that I'm looking for now will help us see the bigger picture and help bring these days together, help us see the overlying influence, if you like, or the underlying influence for Wednesday and Thursday. So I trust that you're doing well and things are flowing well for you. If you're struggling, just remind yourself to go gently and be kind to yourself. Okay, the best card for the theme, I trust, is this card here. Okay, this is card 53 called Gathering. And the key words say helping, ready, leader, and meeting. It talks about the gathering of like minds. It talks about coming together with others. It could be one other person, 
but at least two people coming together for a common purpose, a common interest, a common goal, a common project. Um, so this sense of coming together to brainstorm, to throw off, <laughs> to throw uh, back at each other ideas and to get the ball rolling on something through conversation. There's a sense here of um, this gathering being really important and there's something about it being really nourishing for the heart and very supportive and helping bring a sense of clarity in regards to our forward movement and what's next for us. So there's a sense of two heads being better than one or five heads being better than one at this time. Or we could also think about it as two hearts being better than one. Um, just at this time over Wednesday and Thursday in regards to getting clarity on something and the support that we need to move forward. There's like something really nourishing about this. Something. Um, so if you've been feeling like you're not sure or not 100% clear on the direction that you want to go, or you're not uh, feeling the clarity or the confidence in your forward movement, then it might be important to reach out over Wednesday and Thursday and um, reach out to someone close to you um, or a gathering of people or something. You will, I'm sure you will know when, um, when you're inspired to uh, and instigate a gathering that can help bring things together, bring that clarity and that confidence for forward movement. So this brainstorming, this conversation feels really important. Uh, very grounding so I guess it depends as well on which day that it happens on Wednesday we may find that this conversation with like minds might be quite settling and calming and nourishing and integrating and quite uh, contenting for our body and our being if it happens on Thursday we may find a potency a sense of um, a fire uh, being lit under our backside, a sense of motivation and passion that arises from this conversation and this gathering. So you don't need to go and search it, but just trust if you're inspired to reach out. But also notice if other people are reaching out to you that it may be worth uh, looking at how you can uh, get together somehow because I'm sure that if someone pulls you into their gathering that it's going to inspire everyone that comes along, potentially. So you are ready for the next step. You are ready to step out into your purpose more. You are ready to um, feel a more of a sense of belonging in your life, in your day-to-day -day life, and on a long-term uh, level, a long-term basis. So you're ready, is what this card's saying. You're ready to step out and lead the way in your own life. Step out in charge. Uh, step out into the driver's seat and move forward in the way that you're inspired to. So that's what I'm feeling for the theme for Wednesday and Thursday. So interesting energy and new cards as well, quite new cards that have come up. So um, that also again points to this new energy that's coming in and this new direction that a lot of us are taking as we shuffle out of from the old and we take leaps and bounds forward towards our wherever we're heading towards. Sometimes it feels like we're only shuffling forward or we might feel a bit stagnant because we're not really moving forward progressing as much as we hoped right now um, but if we just be patient and gentle with ourselves we can trust that things are happening behind the scenes um, and that things are coming together. So I trust this guidance resonates with you for your Wednesday and Thursday. It's come to you from my Speed of Light Oracle cards which um, are available now if you want to add them to your collection or learn more. Here's the box cover actually um, so you can look for those on my website. They've been independently created, so if you want to start working with them, they're very easy to use and really on point. So I'm sure you'll love connecting with them. Have a look on my website if you're inspired to. Uh, so thanks for connecting. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up button. Please show us some love. Please comment or share if you're inspired to. And if you'd like to connect more privately, just send us a message through our website. So, um... Uh, what have I got <laughs> happening? <laughs> I've got some new pendants on the website that I've just put up yesterday. So there's still a few of those still available. I think three of the new ones. Um, so have a peek if you like. 
Also, we've got our next healing event for my Pillar of Light family coming up on Monday, the 16th of October. So this coming Monday. Um, it's one of the only one of two healing events that I do actually connect with individuals. So if you're inspired to become part of our Pillar of Light family, or if you'd like to connect with a more personal healing journey, they're actually quite powerful and quite different to the healing I did yesterday on this page. It's more of a healing journey that these people facilitate for all of us, which is quite powerful. Then have a look on my website. You might enjoy the support being a Pillar of Light family member. Um, so if you want to learn more about the work I do at Temple of Balance, please visit templeofbalance.com.au um, and see if there's anything that resonates with you there. Ah, uh, thank you so much. Am I finished already? <laughs> I guess that means you don't want me to go, which is very sweet. Actually, I do have the singing bell here. I can play the singing bell for a minute. Um, I'm connecting with a one of my beautiful patrons. Oh, it's only half past eight. I'm connecting with one of my beautiful patrons with, with a, uh, via a video chat in just um, shortly. So I'm out here before I connect with her. So I will play the singing bell if you like. And let's just play it and trust our intuition to receive what we need through the sound and the energy of the singing bell. So I'm going to play it and I'm going to encourage you to take some really nice deep breaths and trust your intuition in regards to what you need. So you can trust it. Um, you don't need to second guess yourself. If you're thinking about the shopping list or what you've got to do today, then just bring your focus back to your breathing and connect in with your body perhaps and see what you need to do from there. So let's play the singing bell for a few minutes. So take a nice deep breath and at the very least just listen. We don't have any dogs out this morning, do we? I guess they come out when I'm playing the drum quite a bit, the neighbours, dogs. But anyway, take a nice deep breath and enjoy this, these moments for you. just finishing up now so take a last couple of breaths and hold that feeling that you feel see if you can find a word or a couple of words to describe how you're feeling now so you can carry that energy with you into your day-to-day -day life Thank you for connecting and I trust you enjoyed our time together today. I feel like I'm streaming every day. It's crazy at the moment. 
lots of videos but anyway I won't be in tomorrow unless I'm inspired to that's Thursday but I'll do my best to be back on Friday if not definitely will I be back on Saturday I have a wedding gig that we're playing at yeah I should be back in the morning anyway I'll be here soon <laughs> I'll be back again soon to share with you um, thank you so much for being who you are sending you lots of love from my heart to yours and I trust you have a fantastic uh, Wednesday and Thursday and enjoy the rest of your day so thank you so much and I'll chat with you again soon namaste